And a good Friday morning to you on this June 3rd for your 10 a.m. Tropical Update. I'm meteorologist Pate Malone. We continue to track our disturbance, still not an official tropical storm or what we would call a tropical cyclone yet because it has not organized enough. Now the hurricane hunters have been in there and they have found some closed circulations, but it's still kind of ill-defined and there's really no better organization to the storm is simply why they didn't upgrade this to a tropical storm at this point. Notice the winds though. It does have 40 mile per hour winds. That is enough to uh, or sustain tropical storm force winds, but it just doesn't meet the definition just yet. Notice why that's where the area of low pressure is. Look where all the storms are well to the south and east. Now, one thing we are noticing right now is of about 10, uh, 10 a.m. are a new little burst of storms closer to the center of that center of circulation. If that continues, that could be enough to get the designation for Tropical Storm Alex. We will wait and see if that happens later on today. But at this point, still just a disturbance and still producing a lot of rain on the east side. Hurricane hunters are in there right now. You can see them flying around. They have found a couple areas where that center of circulation is trying to come together. You can see the newest little dot there. That's where they believe the center is at this point. It's just not meeting the definition of well-defined circulation with storms firing near the center. We don't have the storms firing, but that could change later on today and it for currently forecast to strengthen to a tropical storm at some point. The reason for all this, there's still a lot of wind shear and dry air in the northern and western Gulf. Look at all this dry air. That is keeping it extremely lopsided. Notice dry, nothing going on on the west side, but look at the east side. That's all rain into Cuba and lifting up into Florida. So Florida, you got a long ways to go, probably another uh, 24 hours or so before things start to really calm down in the state there. So rain today, rain tonight, and rain into parts of tomorrow as this lifts north and east. Here is the official track as of 10 a.m. on our disturbance. You can see they're lifting northeast. They do maintain it, just kind of remaining a weak tropical storm, maybe getting a little stronger as it approaches the southwest Florida coast uh, into tomorrow afternoon. That would be landfall, but remember the impacts from this are already starting with rain, and rain is going to be well to the east of the center of that storm. So as the center of the storm passes your area, things will actually be improving as the center gets closer. So it's the opposite of what you usually see with a hurricane. And then as we go into early next week, notice by Monday, it is in the Atlantic, closer to Bermuda, and maybe getting a little bit stronger once it's in the Atlantic. We do think it could be a bit stronger of a tropical storm as it enters uh, the Atlantic part of the um, the Atlantic Ocean. As we look at precision cast here, breaking down the models and rainfall and going into Florida, you could see there already getting some heavy rain and already seeing some minor flooding in some areas in South Florida. That will continue into tonight. Notice some of the heaviest of it moving in the area later on this evening into tonight and continuing on and off into Saturday morning. You mentioned earlier that as the center crosses over you, the worst of it will be passed. So for example, as the center gets right off the coast of Florida, look where all the heavy rain is. That's the center. All the rain is already in the Atlantic. So the worst of it will be this before the center of the system ever gets to you. Rainfall totals still looks like there could be some pretty high totals, especially from Fort Myers to the Keys to Miami to West Palm Beach, Fort Lauderdale. Five to eight inches widespread seems like a good bet, but there could be some isolated totals. 10 inches, 11 inches, maybe even approaching a foot of rainfall in a few spots. So you don't necessarily need a strong storm to get big problems with flooding. Now, when you look at the wind component of this, we're not looking at a big wind issue, but there are tropical storm warnings that have been issued south of Tampa towards Fort Myers, uh, down to the Keys, Miami, West Palm Beach, and all the way up to nearly uh, once you get off uh, Cape Canaveral. We've got uh, tropical storm warnings as winds could approach tropical storm force uh, as we go into uh, late, late tonight and into tomorrow morning and into tomorrow afternoon. Looking at the wind forecast here, notice winds have been a little gusty, 15, 20 miles an hour, not a big deal. Anywhere you see uh, anything in pink, those are wind gusts approaching 40 miles per hour. And you can see those wind gusts picking up in the Keys and along the coast of Southwest Florida later tonight. Maybe winds picking up in Miami by tonight as well by 40 mile per hour. And then as the storm gets uh, closer, to the eastern side of the state and crossing up towards the Bahamas, winds might start to pick up a little bit. Notice they could have some stronger wind gusts approaching 50 to 60 miles an hour in the northern Bahamas towards Freeport. And then that's as the storm continues to strengthen. Notice could have some wind gusts approaching 60 to 70 if the system still strengthens once it's past the Bahamas. So the worst of it will be moving towards uh, the Atlantic and getting 
stronger. So this is mainly going to be a big rain event for South Florida. The rest of us not really dealing with any direct impacts. Now I do want to mention the Florida Panhandle. You're really not going to see any impactful weather from this except for the rip current risk is going to go up as we go into uh, not only today, but into Saturday and Sunday. So a lot of people are traveling to the Panhandle this weekend, maybe for vacation. Rain's not going to be a big issue. There may be an isolated storm here and there, but that's not associated with what is expected to become Alex. But look at our rip current risk all the way from Alabama to the Florida beaches. Rip current risk high, meaning it doesn't matter whether you're an experienced swimmer or not. It's not a good idea to be in the water. So that is the latest as of 10 a.m. on your Friday, June 3rd, as we continue to track our disturbance. Still not officially a tropical storm, but it will likely get close to becoming one as it heads towards Florida. Rainfall continuing to move into Florida all day today, tonight, and into early tomorrow. And then conditions will improve through the day on Saturday in South Florida. So continue to follow the weather closely if you have plans to head that direction or if you were watching us from South Florida. But that does it for our 10 a.m. update. I'm meteorologist Pate Malone. Thank you so much for joining us.